what is going on guys it is jay whips we're back with another video quick little pov kind of bringing it back to the roots back to the povs that i used to do when i kind of first started this channel except now we got like 800 horsepower uh, i don't know if you guys know probably not because in the last video uh, all i had done so far were the downpipes and the intakes but now the car is tuned um, i originally was going to go with the west tune that actually comes with the package for the intakes and the downpipes uh, but we ended up going with the boot mod tune instead and uh, i'm pretty happy with it so it's got the pops and bangs now we got about um he, he told me it was going to be 750 crank but um as you can see there's a gauge here and it goes up to 800 and not on video but off camera i have maxed that out about twice and i'm going to try to do it today so hopefully at some point in this video you guys will see that gauge hit 800 but um yeah so the gauge says 800 so i'm going to assume it's 800. that being said i gotta make one of my next videos a video at the dyno what do you guys think of that drop a like or i'm sorry drop a comment and let me know what you think about that I want to get this thing dyno just so we can get those exact horsepower numbers. I know the crank horsepower is about 800, but I want to know the wheel. So yeah, that's really the plan. I would like to get the dyno done soon just so we can get that exact number. And then another thing, um, soon I'm going to be buying a tent. I'm going to get a tent for the backyard for me to put the car in, like a car tent, uh, just so that things like uh, the smoke in the sky that we had if you're from Long Island or I think really anywhere on the East Coast, you had the experience past couple days of having all the smoke from Canada's wildfires oh it's so loud now uh, covering the skies so you can still kind of see a little bit of a remnants of that in the sky it's only 5:13 right now and it looks like it's like 7 30 getting kind of late but it's not um, oh you can maybe hear the pops there you go you can kind of hear it It's also not warmed up. I just kind of started the car a couple minutes ago, so the pops, it, they get more, the more you drive the car, uh, the more warmed up it gets, the more it pops and uh, sounds more aggressive. So I've actually been meaning to tell you guys, uh, one day I didn't have my camera with me, I was driving home from work, and that AMG from that video, uh, you guys saw in that one video that AMG, I beat him a couple times in that video. I actually beat him once off camera, uh, one morning on the way to work he wanted to go, and I raced him and beat him that race and then I beat him on camera a couple times it wasn't like crazy like I was smoking him it was just I was beating him by a little bit and then he actually started a race with me one day when I didn't have my camera and he like downshifted and then took off on me before I even had a chance to downshift and I'm not even gonna lie he was kind of pulling on me even when we even when I got to the top end so I don't know if he did something to his car or whatever, but either way, he I guess you can call that a win. He could say he kind of beat me. So I'm gonna call it like three or four and one against him. But that being said, I would really like to run into him now, now that uh, I was hoping I'd run into him today. But I'd like to run into him now, now uh, with all this work done to the car, see how I fare against him. Oh, there's an M440 in front of us. I thought it was just a 4 Series. I didn't realize it was an M until I got close. My favorite sound is that sound of that turbo, man. I mean, I know that's probably everybody's favorite sound, but just hearing that thing spool up. Pops are getting a little bit better. You can hear everything, like the downshifts and the pops and everything. You hear so much more when I have the back windows open, but I just don't want to do that right now. It'll get way too windy in here. All right, so once we get up on this road here, we're gonna make that split off to the left. Once we make that split, uh, hopefully there won't be too many cars on the road and I can try to run up this horsepower gauge. Y'all be talking in the comments about how I don't be shifting, how, or how I be shifting too early. Cause I don't know, I, the reason I do that to be completely honest with you guys, you'll notice I shift probably for the most part around four to 5,000 RPMs is cause I just don't want to beat on the engine. You know, it's 
the high RPMs beats on the engine, all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's the more you do that, the more you're kicking the engine. But at the same time, you know, you do want to get all the power out of the car and use the car to its full ability. So you'll notice when I, when I'm racing somebody, like when I raced that AMG, I was using that full gauge. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm RPM and all the way out, even with the RS7, I'm using all those RPMs. But if I'm just driving by myself, I'm not, I'm not maxing that out, but I'm gonna do it right now just cause we got the new work done. So it looks pretty good now. Uh, sitting at that light cleared up everything in front of me, it seems like. Oh yeah, there's nobody. You can still, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but if you look over the top of that hill, you can kind of see the smoke from the, from the wildfires. Yesterday it was insane. Uh, if you're not from Long Island or from New York, it, it was insane. It was like, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie The Mist. It was a pretty low budget movie. It didn't go that crazy, so probably not, but. It reminded me of that, it was terrifying. Take this turn nice and quick. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cruise until we pass the spot that the cop usually hangs out. And as soon as we pass that spot, which is right about here, I'm gonna max her out, drop a gear and disappear. So, cop spot is right here. No cop, drop a gear. There you go. Used all 800. Oh, my boss is calling me. through those tunnels, man. All right, since I'm in traffic, I'm gonna cut you guys off for a little bit, call back my boss real fast, uh, talk to him, and then I'll, uh, I'll get you guys back on. Maybe I can get something going with this SQ5 in front of me here. Keep going, if you're gonna do it, keep it going. I'm gonna go all the way, all right? You stay there. That's Bright's, that's one. Let's see if we can beat a record. My record and my old job coming home, like when I used to come home from work, I used to keep keep track of how many people I could get to flash their Bright's at me. And in my old job, my record was seven, but that was um, a little bit longer of a ride home. This guy hopefully doesn't try to cut me off. There's a bike up here, so we gotta be careful with him. I got this Nissan Pathfinder following me up, it seems like. I love coming around. 
around this turn at a high speed. Oh, that Nissan's coming up on me quick. <laughs> you better hit the brakes because we got to stop up here. Should I go crazy? Uh, I was going to go around that PT, but he made the move. I was going to go... Oh, the Nissan's going to get in front of me now. Nissan's still trying to stay with me, I'm weak. He's keeping up though, for, for being in a Pathfinder, I gotta give him respect. You guys can see how how quick it is just on the video little pop. I don't know if y'all heard that. A little two-lane action. I hope you guys can hear the whoosh. That sounds crazy. I'm gonna, actually going to turn around here. I don't want to drive on that, but oh man, I, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake, because when I hit the brakes, I like slid a little bit. I think now would be a, a pretty good time for me to accidentally lose control of my car. Wouldn't that be kind of weird if that happened right now? <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow, that thing is fucking rowdy. It is rowdy. It is rowdy. I don't know if you guys saw how hard it hooked up when I shifted. I put in, I was spinning them, spinning them, spinning them, and then I hit the third gear, or second, maybe it was second. I think it was third. And I just, whoa, that was weird. The car like, I went to hit the brakes and it like extra rolled. Um, yeah, as soon as I, as soon as I gear shifted, it just caught traction and hooked and took off. I gotta say, man, I already loved this car, but it's just so much fun to drive now for so many different reasons, whether it be the sound it's making, the speed, how easily it throws the tires and the back end out. Alright guys, well, 
Hopefully you enjoyed the video. This is gonna be my first POV drive in my new 800, well, the car's not new, but the 800 horsepower is, in my new 800 horsepower M6. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on my only social that I do have. It is my Instagram. I'll have it on the screen, probably in the bottom left, and then at the end of the video. I appreciate you guys for watching another one. It's in J-Whips. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. And that's just me for you to I've been moving, I've been drinking, I've been riding through the hood I've been wigging, hazing one hand like my nigga was real good I've been all about the bitch, but I won't take the bitch up to me I wish a nigga would